guys, it's Dino Film Productions here, back with another video. I promised in um one of my other videos, one a movie review, I think. I think it's How to Train Your Dragons movie review that I would make a video about um my favorite movie themes and music. And today is that video. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm gonna be um sharing my top five or ten whatever my my favorite movie themes and um just based off how much i like them how many memories they bring back like to my like, early childhood like from jurassic park like i've been watching that basically my whole life um because um yeah i just i've been watching them my whole life and it it brings back so many memories every time I watch it or hear it. So, yeah, like, just based off of how much I like it and how good the music is. So, yeah, I'm just going to be doing that today. I'm going to rank them. Because, yeah, I did promise it in my other video. We'll make a video about some of my favorite movie soundtracks. So, yeah, I'm going to make a video about that. And, um, it's really hard to pick because all these movies have great music and everything. So, um, I'm gonna figure out what my list should be, and what my list is, and just make some final touches to my list. And I will rank them. Starting now. At, um, the lowest spot is still a pretty good theme. It's the original 1954 Godzilla theme. And I just think it's from Godzilla, which is usually, like, really scary action -y and, like, serious it's just kind of fun and playful i mean i just really like it i think it's a good thing Black and white is basically a cinema, like, it, it went down in cinema history. It's like the best cinema monster ever. It was one of the most famous movies at its time and has a great, funny, playful theme. And it's not really funny, but it's funny how in such a crazy movie where everything's getting destroyed, it's just like, it's actually really good, and I think it's pretty awesome. So, the reason it's at last place is because there are some better ones, but um, I couldn't really think of much for my top five, so I'm like... I know, I know my top four for sure, but I'm like, ooh, what should I put my, for my five? And I just remembered, it's like, oh, this is really fun. Um, so yeah, it's at number five. If I had to give the Godzilla 1954 theme um, a score from zero to ten, I would give it a, an eight out of ten. And number four is the Harry Potter series. Oh my gosh, Harry Potter. And let me, um, actually tell you something. When I, when I was in, like, grade one and stuff, in grade two, everybody was always talking about Harry Potter. Um, I'm like, oh my god, what's so great about some stupid Harry Potter with, oh no, magic, oh no, some bad guys, oh no. I thought Harry Potter was stupid, and I just was not interested. Then, my dad got me the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets book for, um... Christmas, and I hated it. I thought it was horrible, and I thought it was, like, bad. I didn't like the story. But then, I'm like, okay, what's the big fuss about Harry Potter? And what's the big fuss about this book? So I watched the first one. I loved it. It was, like, almost perfect. I, I loved it. It was, like, great. Watch the second one. Loved the second one even more. Watch the third one. I really loved the third one. Like, I love all of them. I mean... They're all awesome. And don't even get me wrong with the themes. I mean, what did I even say? I don't even know what I said. But, like, 
I think they're awesome. And I just love them. I mean, if I had to give them a score from 0 to 10, I would give them literally a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, you probably have heard it, but I'm going to just play it, because why not? Extend the runtime of the video. I just showed you Harry Potter mu music for three minutes. Now I don't have that much runtime left because on iMovie, which I make all my videos on, I can't make it longer than 15 minutes. Um. Oh yeah, just a quick thing to say. Um, I just had to say something. Ally the Dino season two will be coming out in a few weeks, so be ready for that. Anyways, so yeah, I love Harry Potter music, and. Yeah, like I said, nine out of nine point five out of ten. If I had to, um, you know, like uh, rate it. Okay, whatever. Um, I'm running out of time, so let's go on to number three. Number three is How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, oh my gosh, how do I explain how good this is? It's awesome. That's how I do it. <laughs> it's a really good, really playful, really nice um, theme, and when it's playing while you're Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. In the Hedge your Dragon 2 picture, look at Snotlap's face in the background. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, yeah, it's just like, yeah, um, it's just really good, really playful, and when you're flying in the theme, play, uh, you can kind of, like, I feel like I am flying. I am in the air. And it's just so great. So I'm going to show you some of it.
So, um, yeah. If I had to, um, rate, or, um, yeah, like, from 0 to 10, I would give it the same score as, um, of, like, um, what's it called? Harry Potter. I would give it the same score as Harry Potter from 0 to 10, a 9.5. Even though this is a tad better than the Harry Potter theme, it's just the difference is so small that even, like, from, even, like, 9.6 wouldn't do it. It's just, like, so tiny that I, I, I give it the same score, even though this is, like, the slightest bit better. So, yeah, on to number two. Number two is Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. On a score from zero to ten, I would give it a 9.8. It's awesome. Um, I don't have much longer until it hits 15 minutes. Um... So yeah, I like how they mix the original beautiful Jurassic Park theme with um like this really crazy edgy thing. And I love it. I'm gonna show you some. Usually I would put the the movie theme here, but because I um I tried it and then I only had like ten seconds left to finish my whole video. Um you could just go ahead and watch it on in the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom movie review. Um, so I'm just gonna skip right ahead to number one, which is, I'm not sure if you guessed it, it's not Star Wars, because I haven't really seen Star Wars, yep, okay, yep, yep, don't kill me, don't kill me, please, please, I just, I've never seen Star Wars or superhero movies like Avengers Endgame or anything, I'm not a fan of those, I don't know why, I, I wanna like them, I, I just, I've never really seen them and not being interested in them, I will watch them someday though, um, maybe. Anyways, number one is Jurassic Park. Again, I couldn't play the music because it would take too long. Um, but you you know it from my at outro. And just who doesn't know the music? Anyways, I would give it the same score as Jurassic World's Long Kingdom out of 10. 9.8 out of 10. It's just the difference is so slim that this is just a tiny bit better that it's like impossible to measure. Anyways, that's the end of this video because I'm basically out of time. Um, because my outro is 33 seconds. Anyways, subscribe, like, please subscribe. I have, like, no subscribers, so only 11. And, hope you like the video. Dino Film Productions, out.